Power Overload. Miss V, yo. Miss V, yo. Will this be? What I say? You hit the jackpot, bingo. Hope you're bigger than your ego. A, B, C, let the D go. You go, B, go. Hello, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys all doing? You guys, you know one thing I love about being a woman and being able to have hair and do all those fancy hairstyles because you can change your hairstyle anytime you want you can look different depending on your mood you can just you know decide to have long hair today tomorrow decide to have short hair today decide to have kinky blown out more relaxed hair look you know like <laughs> what else can be better than that so today's video i'm going to be trying out this kinky blowout wig that most of you actually thought it was my natural hair when i posted this picture on my instagram someone was like um, um, I thought your did your hair grow. I mean, I just saw your last video. Like, what happened? Like, girl, no. Like, my hair couldn't have grown this long overnight. Like, if people's hair grew this long overnight, then what more can we ask for in life? That would be a great miracle, you know. But no, it wasn't my hair. It's actually a wig. So I'm going to show you guys how I actually installed this wig and I actually styled it into this very cute to bun look half up half down sort of hairstyle so i was actually trying out the bald cap method i'm not a perfectionist when it comes to installing wigs like i feel like every time i try this i keep learning i keep trying to grow more i keep you know learning new tricks and tips and how to you know make my wig look perfect but you know i just kept trying and this is what i actually came up with so it's not as perfect as i would have vlogged i'm just gonna take you guys through the entire process and things that i wish i had done differently so i'm going to be using this tan airbrush leg spray in the color medium i honestly wish i got the shade darker like this color tan because i wanted something that would look more natural this is kind of like a little bit too light and i realized after i had opened it and sprayed it on my hair i was like damn this shit is light <laughs> like what the heck and although yes your scalp is supposed to be like a one shade lighter than your actual skin tone but i feel like this was way way too light like it was just too light but yeah so the hair i'll be using in this video is from delago hair company and then they sent me this hair it comes with a wig cap and this is what the wig looks like it also comes with an extra strap like you guys already so, so I'll just go ahead to open this wig. This is what it looks like in the most natural look ever possible. Uh, it's, I mean, the lace looks pretty good. It also comes with a strap that looks like a bra strap that you can use to adjust this wig if your head is pretty small. So I actually love the look and I was like, damn, like this is what I'm here for. And this wig is in the length 12 inches yeah 12 inches so it's more like a short bob cut wig i also went ahead to put the spray tan on the lace of this wig as well just so it could blend with the bold cap i had on my head so i'll go ahead to use my got to be glue gel and just put it on the perimeter of my forehead and just use that to seal this lace onto my hair first of all I'll go ahead to blow dry this got to be glue gel just so it could be tacky and when it's tacky it makes it a lot easier to just hold the lace onto my head and just you know for it to just stay in place perfectly so after sealing this down onto my forehead perimeter i'll just go ahead to hold this and then i'll go back again with the blow dryer just to dry this down and make sure it's properly secured to my hair so now i'll go ahead to use my scissors to actually cut out this lace after i'm done gluing it down not gluing it down though but holding it down to my hairline Per se, I didn't really want any baby hair. I just wanted something that looks natural. Like sometimes it just don't really feel like the baby hair. So I just like, yeah, I don't think I feel like baby hair today. I just want everything to be out of my face. So I went ahead to cut out this lace according to my hairline. Just trim it out, take your time. And you know, like sometimes the ear part is a little bit long for like most of us, especially me. So I actually normally go ahead to make sure that I take my time to cut this part just so it looks proper and nice. And I'll just go ahead to hold down the rest of my hair using this, what's this called? I think it's a paper wrap. I don't really remember what the name is actually. But I'll find the name and put it down in the description box for you guys. I just use this to hold my hair down together while I did my makeup. A lot of you guys have actually asked me about this eye look. This is my everyday summer eye look. Like super easy. I just normally use just two eyeshadow colors. The one bright orange color from the Juvia's Face Zulu palette. And then I normally go ahead to use this burnt orange that has a pinkish undertone. 
color from the modern renaissance palette for my crease and yeah that's basically all i do for my eyes it's actually very easy more like my everyday summer look like i said so after doing this i'll just go ahead to make sure that everything is well blended and i went ahead to use my morphe liquid black eyeliner for like the top part of my eyes and then the morphe eye pencil eyeliner for like the bottom part of my eyes and i'll just go ahead to wear my false lashes and as usual i like to make sure that my eyeshadow is sort of balanced so i use the same color that i use for the top the bright orange from the zulu palette and i just use that to balance the bottom of my eyelid that's basically the end of that look i'll just go back to working on my hair so for this hair i just went ahead to straighten it straighten each of them just so it could look more you know more like a relaxed sort of look like i said i didn't want any baby hair or any of those and i was actually going for like a side pattern because i feel like side patterns look good on me sometimes and i was just like yes let's do it today so i did a side pattern i went ahead to clean any excess spray tan that i had on my hair as you guys can see what i mean i feel like the scalp is a little bit too light i should have gone for like one shade higher like that's the shade tan but you know it wasn't that bad it still turned out pretty cute and i still went ahead to use the avocado hair mousse from curls just to lay down any flyaways from this hair and after doing that i was like yes i actually love this this looks so natural it was just like my type of vibe so to give you guys a different look i wanted to do like the half up half down but like with two buns in front just go ahead to pass out the two buns for the front and then yeah after parting that i just split it like the two halves of the bun into separate ways and then i use this butterfly clamps just to hold one side while i work on the other so just to work on this it's pretty simple all i did was to make sure of course first of all that you're holding down your front out because you don't want this to pull when you're trying to like pull on this ponytails you want to make sure that you're not putting so much pressure on like the front of your front out. like i said i didn't use any glue i just used the got to be gel so you have to be careful you know so for this bun i just used water sprayed this on my on the bun in front and then went over top with the same hair mousse just to make sure everything is laid properly then i used my bristle brush and just brush this up and then use this black elastic band to actually just hold this into a nice ponytail yeah that's it honestly like it was that simple <laughs> so i'll do the exact same thing for the other side of the ponytail that you guys could just watch then i'm done making the ponytail i'm making sure it's secure i'll just take it and kind of swell it and just make that into a very nice bun and then after making that into a nice bun i'll go ahead to use a smaller elastic band to make sure that i hold this bun down like you guys will see also use the got to be spray just to make sure that this bun actually stays in place and all the hair is properly laid the way i would like and i went ahead of course of course i wanted something that's more of a bob look that will fit with these two ponytails in front so i went ahead to you know use my straightener to just give my hair more of a bob look for the rest of the hair that i have left and the last thing i went ahead to do was to accessorize this bun of course i love me some accessories but yeah that's basically the end of this look i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to give me a big thumbs up comment share subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much and make sure you have a wonderful rest of your week and a wonderful rest of your weekend bye Mwah.